Hello, welcome to number 7 Ministries Christian Outreach. Today's short sermonette is called The Lion and the Lamb. The Lion and the Lamb. One of the things that God was speaking to me about is the nature of Himself. I know and I believe that the nature of God is love, it's kind, it's friendliness. And even if you look at uh, what we see about Jesus... We see he's very loving and kind, but also look at the other side to God. There's a side to God that man oftentimes chooses to ignore for whatever their reason is. Maybe because they might be involved in something that God doesn't want to be involved in, so they only choose to look at one side of God. But in the Bible, it specifically uh, says that Jesus is both the lion and the lamb. But let's look at the nature of a lion. The nature of a lion is aggressive, it's fearful, it's intimidating, and it has authority. Even the natural roar of a lion affects all the animals in the jungle. The vibration that are being produced from the roar of the lion actually has to it actually changes the physical reaction of an animal an animal could be coming towards the cubs but when the mother or the male lion roars all of a sudden the predators or those that are trying to attack the uh, children of the lion they see what's taking place and they hear the roar of the lion and they run in fear and I want to ask this, as children of God, do we have that same reaction towards God? Do we fear God in that nature? And I want to say on a positive note that if you are a child of God, Jesus said it would be better that we tie a rope around our neck and a milestone be thrown into the ocean than to harm one of his little ones. And that's exactly what God is to us. He's a protector. And for those that come against him and his children, there will be consequences for it. You don't have to protect yourself. You don't have to walk around with a gun. You don't have to carry mace. All you have to do is put your trust in the Lion of Judah. And on that note, let's read this Bible verse. In Revelation chapter 5, verse 5, it says, And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the Lion of of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open up the book and loose the seven seals thereof. And look what happened. In this vision, the, the uh, elder said, Weep not because of the tribe or because of the lion of Judah. The lion of Judah. There's no reason to weep. You know, all the things that uh, the media or news would try to make you fearful, or, uh, be afraid about the economic crisis, the economic depression, worry about the gas prices, weep not. Don't worry about any problems. Don't worry about any things that the uh, people would try to tell you to worry about, but put your faith and your trust in Jesus Christ because he is the Lion of Judah. He is the all-powerful king, and he has all authority. But we need to respect him and not treat him as if he's something other than what he is. The next Bible verse that I would like to read in Romans chapter 12 verse 19. It says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. This is the thing, Jesus Christ he is a lion in the spirit, not in the flesh and not in the natural, but in the spirit. He is absolutely a lion. We don't have to make vengeance. All we're called to do as Christians, we're called to forgive one another. But Jesus Christ in the spirit, he is a lion and he's more powerful than any demon that will ever try to rise up against you in this lifetime. And that's why we put our trust and faith in him. The next Bible verse that I would like to read is back in Revelation chapter 7 verse 17. And it says, For the lamb which is in the midst of the throne feed them and shall lead them unto living waters and God shall wipe away all their tears. I'm going to read that one more time. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of water and God shall wipe away all of their tears from their eyes. 
And this is also a depiction of who Jesus Christ is. He is a lamb in the natural and in the physical. Look at all the things that people did to Jesus Christ. They smacked him. They beat him. They spit on him. They talked about him. They lied on him. And Jesus had all the power and all the authority to raise all the angels up against them and destroy them. But he never did. He chose to humble himself in the natural so that God can exalt him in the spiritual. And we're the exact same way. Our weapons are not carnal. Our weapons are spiritual. Our weapons are peace, love, joy, forgiveness, but more importantly, love. And that's exactly how it is with Jesus Christ. He doesn't have to rise up in the natural. He rises up in the spiritual. So Jesus is a lion and the lamb. It seems like that's a contradiction, but any time that you think that there's a contradiction in the Bible, that's a red flag for room for you to grow of more and greater understanding. Because it's not a contradiction. In the natural, Jesus Christ was a lamb. In the spiritual, he was a lion. And we're to be the exact same way. God bless you and have a great day.